I fear I may have drunk slightly too much sherry. I'm just going downstairs to see if I can find some more sherry. What do we have? What do we have? We've got some Earl Grey tea. Oh no, it's not sherry, is it? Mr. Brady, I couldn't find any sherry. Unfortunately, we're going to just have to drink the rest of that uh, before we fix uh, my hard drive. Uh, have you got a cloth? We've managed to mop the carpet. We'll let the wood drink it up. No. So, you said it's only about a hard drive. Well, the, I've come round today, Mr. Brady, uh, because last night I attempted to back up some files on my computer system. Uh, Another sherry? Ah, oh, of uh, course. Bottoms up, sir. Mm. Uh, it was almost a little bit sicky. I've got a slightly burning throat. I just wondered whether there was anything we could do to manipulate it and make it work again. Uh, I don't know, I have a look at it for you, if you would like. That's the one, I, I... Okay. Here's the hard drive from my computer, which malfunctioned due to base... <laughs> base lines! It goes from about 50 down to 3 pi. It disappears into infinity! <laughs> Oscilloscope. Now, Mr. Brady, are you sure you're plugging it up right? Well... Um, that, that bit's f***ed. No, that one there, that's f***ed. There's definitely residual base. We're just trying to mount the hard drive in my own computer system. Oh, Bloody hell. Come on, plug everything, bro. Ah, oh, Brady is going to attempt to take out his PC and uh, place my old hard drive inside it. Oh. Always the first thing you should unplug is the power cable because then if you if you end up biting any other stuff in your PC you don't get such a big electric shock. I did that once. Bit an electric cable while the little fucker was still plugged in. It really hurt and I had to have a tooth removed. Massive bulbous wires here look. Oh. So a range of uh, of a wires here. Plenty of dust as well. No PC would be complete without unbelievable quantities of dust. There are already two hard drives in the computer. A separate thing, so. Two drives. There is one a CD-ROM slot vacant. Ah, you have a CD-ROM. There it is. Invisible laser radiation. Avoid direct exposure to beam. I thought that would be obvious. I once had a laser. Uh, exposed at me, and it nearly blew my arm off. If we can find some way of temporarily mounting your hard drive in the casing of the CD-ROM, we then mount the, the assemblage in the, uh, the thing. You see, you're going to manipulate it with a chisel and a hammer. Yeah, I know who left this CD. It's not going very well to me, honest. Um, <laughs> it would be frank when there is a cold well, I'm in trouble fighting. Ah, uh, it's a bit of a solid little bastard, isn't very, it? Very well, these Japanese things. Okay. Ah, take that class uh, one laser product. Yeah. Ah. Do you think maybe it's invisible lady, lady radiation? Radiation. Lady radiation. Is actually radiating us now. Okay, well, I think we're, we're set now. And make sure it is supplied with an ample current of electricity.